Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hurlingham. For those of you who don't know, Hurlingham is a suburb located pretty much in Santon. You could easily walk out of the gate of this home and take a stroll to Santon CBD, walk through Santon City and purchase your heart's desire. That is how close it is. But for those of you who do know Hurlingham, you'll know what the craziness behind me is going to contain. We've got incredible featured walls, we've got gas fireplaces, we've got sunken lounges and raised offices. Behind me is a 14 and a half million rand, five bedroom, six bathroom home with a three car covered garage. My name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. And here we are coming through this massive glass front door that does close on its own. You'll see behind me we've got a front of house with plenty of greenery. So these massive windows look out onto something quite nice, quite pleasant to look at. We've got vertical lighting elements there and a featured stone wall that really must pop in the nighttime. But heading off to the right from that front door, we find ourselves literally as soon as you step in, it's crazy. My right hand side, we've got a sunken lounge area slash well, right now it's, it's done up as a bar and games room. You can see we've got the foosball table here, all carpeted, beautiful, lush. I'm six foot tall and uh, there's, there's still space here. There's lighting underneath here as well, so you know it's not going to get too dark. And all the way over here, we've got the bar, all inbuilt, beautiful cabinetry, opened up, nice and tinted. And then along this wall, we'll get a view of it right now, we've got just a bit of a peek into some more greenery. But coming up over here, we find ourselves in the living area once again. I've just basic, basically done a 180. Here is the dining room area with the kitchen behind me. And I mean, this is insane. How many chairs are here? Two, four, six, 12, 14, 16 seater dining room table with an incredible chandelier. Take a look at this. This is I mean, it's incredible. It is breathtakingly beautiful and it is without a doubt worth the price tag of 14 and a half million. I want to swivel over this way because we've got a floating fireplace, all gas, stunning, stunning marble, and it is framed with reflective panes of mirror. Now, I think the easiest thing we're going to do is let's run into the kitchen, let's swivel around, go outside, come into the sitting room area, and then it's time to take a look at what the bedrooms in this kind of house have in store for us. And here we are, right in the heart of it. If you're a chef, this place is going to meet your every whim. We've got a chef sink right here, stunning center island countertop, beautiful Caesar's tone tops, gloss for all the cabinetry, so it really makes this area pop. We've got this insane, almost like a 
centerpiece of an extractor fan and then Siemens induction stove with some gas here in case there's no electricity we've got the gas you can make some teapot throw your nice teapot on there over here just underneath we've got the oven and then I do believe there's other stuff right over here we've both got an oven and then a little coffee drawer over here a really killer feature is actually back this way behind these glass cabinets we've got our fridge nice and hidden away and freezer oh that way there we go and then on this side another pantry so you know storage isn't a problem but maybe you've whipped up a nice meal where do we sit down and enjoy it right over here if you don't want to sit at the 16-seater dining room table you can enjoy this nice intimate six-seater just a little bit nicer we've got cool little chandelier there they've really used the design elements of hanging bulbs so well throughout this house you'll see another one inside the sitting room area but yeah we're framed not only by your vegetable garden that's planted in raised cement planters but just by these beautiful floor to ceiling windows all of them come with built-in blinds and just all of this greenery it's a really nice place to sit down in and I can only imagine whipping up and eating a breakfast there it must be quite a pleasant experience all the backing is a, that same kind of tinted mirror and then just behind just behind the kitchen we've got your scullery area and another outdoor scullery area over here with plenty of plug points so what the owner's done is all the other fridges they've thrown out there and this is where you do your washing up this is where you keep some other extra storage we've got windows there let's in light let's in air really cool kitchen really love what they've done with it so let's do this now let's run all the way across And now coming around the corner to the other half of that gas fireplace, you're greeted by two incredible feature walls. One is this dark one on my right hand side, the other being the mirror framed one that houses that gas fireplace. The one on my right hand side has built in speakers and those built in speakers transition to the ceiling as well. There's two over there. Also to the outside areas, the kitchen, the dining room areas throughout the home, you're going to have all the music you desire. Then another incredible feat of engineering here really is this light bulb or uh, should I say chandelier arrangement like I said that design element continues with the hanging lights and that little touch of industrial look I love how it hangs on either end of this massive L-shaped couch behind me floor to ceiling windows on my right hand side floor to ceiling windows both times one with a view of stunning greenery or just behind me a view of an incredible incredible pool Floor to ceiling windows, really, you cannot go wrong regardless of which home you put them in. But right over here, something very cool happens. We transition from tiles into this warmth of wood flooring and a little touch of Japanese inspired elements. We've got these stackable rocks over here that are quite easy to move. We've got floor to ceiling windows over here and this would be the guest bathroom. Take a look at this, love what they've done. Turning into the entry hall for the guest bathroom, the first thing you're greeted with is the absolute stunning greenery pressed up against the glass walls that makes up the one wall of the bathroom. Then you'll see your floating toilet off to the left, as well as a feature single sink rising up from the floor itself. Just above it, massive mirror. And then you've got some shelving on the right hand side, housing different adornments. Love the bathroom and love the tinge of Japanese inspired way of doing it. Now that we've got the guest bathroom out the way, we transition again from wood floors now to carpets. And on my left hand side, a killer feature again in every home, and that is your very own cinema. Walking into your lush carpeted 10-seater cinema, you can see immediately this would be an incredible place to sit down, relax with friends and family, and not only enjoy a sports game, but a fantastic movie. You've got an inbuilt sound system, absolutely massive projector screen and then you've got just a little bit of light when you need it coming from two very well shaded windows found in the top left hand corner of the room coming out of the cinema we've got two options one is to move to the guest suite of the house which we're definitely going to do and two is to move downstairs so let me talk about downstairs quickly downstairs is where you'll find your three car garage obviously all automated beautifully kitted out tiled floors and space a lot of space for three cars but also it is where you'll find your downstairs gym now downstairs immediately makes you think dingy dark not a really nice place to gym but absolutely not or not in this case you've also got that floor to ceiling windows that span the length 
of one whole wall in that gym, plenty of space for all the equipment you need. And when you're done training, what's even better is you've got a fully decked out toilet with a steam room. Absolutely love that that's included. And it's one of those luxury features that you do expect in a home like this. And here we are finally in the guest wing of the house and what a guest wing this is. I love that this whole wall opens up and turns into almost a balcony. Downstairs, that's the same view you're gonna get or this is the same view you're gonna get from the gym downstairs. All carpeted, real plush carpeting. Oh, so much greenery. I really cannot get enough with these floor to ceiling windows. And you know it's floor to ceiling windows when there's literally a three finger gap right over here before window starts, the same on that side. We've got a built in mirror, a little place there for you to get ready. Massive king size bed in here, all the way on the floor. Stunning wallpaper and that leads right off into your ensuite shower bathtub, sink, toilet in the corner there. Got some lighting coming up from the corner. Really do dig where they've put mirrors here, giving you privacy, specific in a bathroom like this. And coming out of that guest wing of the house, we're gonna come down the carpets, traverse the beautiful wood flooring, and we find ourselves back in front of this future wall where we came through at the beginning. And right over here is your sunken lounge. But where you guys are standing right now is possibly one of the coolest areas to ever put an office and that is essentially a floating office with your very own chandelier right here in the middle of the home. Oh, you can sit down and oversee your kingdom while doing work and just really taking in where you've gotten in life because this is without a doubt a killer office. I absolutely love this. The stairs here lead across to all the bedrooms of the home. Working hard or hardly working? Well with a view like this I think it's always going to be the latter. Now that I see you guys have made your way up there, I think I'm going to have to leave the dream office that I've always wished and hoped for myself to come up these stairs. We've got absolutely incredibly solid wrought iron balustrades here that also turn into an art piece. They're beautifully slotted and slatted. Along the right hand side, some lighting. Again, looking out onto a beautiful garden. For those of us who've got kids and don't want them doing somersaults down the staircase, this does close off completely. And now we've got bedrooms located all along the top floor. So we're going to start with the one behind me and then we're going to make our way down the length of this and take a look at what all the bedrooms in this home have to offer. And here we are all the way on the far end of the wing of the home. You've got an incredible bedroom right over here. When you come through the door, you find yourself on the ensuite bathroom, or in the ensuite bathroom, should I say. We've got a massive mirror stretching the length of this wall. You've got a single vanity here, but you do have space to put another one in quite comfortably if you do want to. Floating toilet over there, shower, glass encased right over there. And here it is, we go off onto wood flooring so much space around here and you've got two floor to ceiling windows. One here looking out onto the garden at the back end of the house and a gigantic one here looking at the front end of the house and this house has got a beautiful front end. So I can't see why you wouldn't want to look at that. Love the view. Plenty of cupboard space right over here and a lot of space. I love that with this home, specifically in the current market, you get these houses that come with an absurd number of bedrooms, five to ten, but so many of them are small and not really usable as bedrooms. Not this case in this house. So I love that all the bedrooms we're going to see today are quite spacious and easily can be used as bedrooms. Coming out of that bedroom, on your right hand side you'll find your office space there. Plenty of space to make this a small bedroom but really this is completely dedicated and almost perfectly situated to be an office should you need another one. Windows situated high up, not letting in too much light, not creating any glare for your computer screens and then built in cupboard space on the low left hand corner. And now with two bedrooms down we've got two more to go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk past this conspicuous recess in the walls which actually makes it your master suite. We're going to walk past this right here and we're going to come to the other end of the house and come take a look at this bedroom but like a couple of things I really do want to touch on about this home. One you've got that stunning skylight right there in the middle over the office space. Love the light that that lets in and two walking your way across this 
this, uh, this little rampart, this little passageway is, is incredible. You are so high up, the ceilings are incredibly tall. It really does lend such a feeling of prestige to this home. Can't get enough of it. I've always loved these high walkways in some of these expensive homes and I think this one pulls it off so much better because you can see straight through the slatticing that makes up the wrought iron railing. And here we are in the far end of the house and walking into this room, the first thing you find yourself in is the ensuite bathroom. Now this ensuite bathroom is kitted out to the max. You've got a mirror running the length of the wall, single vanity, some shelving here in case you'd like to store towels, whatever other knickknacks you might have. Over here, floating bathtub, absolutely stunning floating bathtub I might add. And behind me, quite a large spacer shower with this wall here becoming the dividing wall between the ensuite bathroom and the rest of the room. Let's take a look at the rest of the room. Squeezing through there, yeah, we are in a very large and I think quite well kitted out room. We've got a king size bed over here, plenty of cupboard space as well as built in uh, cupboards over there, shubbards. And then along the length of these two walls, absolute glass perfection with your very own balcony. Let me pull this across, shut out that sound and take a look at this incredible view of not only the grounds but also the pool. So much natural light but then you've got not only one but two sets of blinds. You'll see one's down here, there's another one just above it. So you can choose just how much light you'd like. Would you like blackout blinds or would you just like it shaded a little bit? Love that that feature's been included. Plug points everywhere you might need them in case you'd like to set up some TVs or even put a desk in there and do some work. Really cool bedroom, let's check out the rest. Time for the next bedroom, and this is number three out of the four located upstairs. The next bedroom you find yourself in again includes that stunning wraparound balcony, this time directly over the pool, but also letting in so much natural light through those floor to ceiling windows. Plenty of space throughout the bedroom, and then just behind that feature wall, you find yourself in the ensuite bathroom. This time, an oval bathtub makes this room unique compared to the rest. Again, a shower is included with your single vanity and some shelving space, a very, very well-equipped room overall. You know your master suite is pretty snazzy when you've got a double set of doors leading into it. Coming in, as you can see, another one of these marble floating gas fireplaces surrounded by that reflective mirror over here. All of this is skylight, letting in so much natural light and making this look so cool. You've got a slatted skylight in your walk-in closet. I mean, that's epic. We've got this fancy closet in the middle, but then it is surrounded by so much storage space. And not only what you see here, there's a little pathway that goes off on my right-hand side and leads around the back that has got even more cupboard space. On my right-hand side, this is your ensuite bathroom. We went from a square bath to an oval bath and now we're sitting quite firmly in the circular bath territory. It's definitely a first for the private property home shopper show to have a circular bathtub. It is uh, quite fancy. I can only imagine lounging here with your rubber duck, enjoying the view that comes out of these incredible windows right here. You can see you get plenty of privacy with all the trees there so you don't need to worry about that. You don't have a neighbor in front of you, so you don't need to worry about that either. But again, you've got the double shutters on both of these uh, windows, closing it down or adjusting the light as you see fit. This half of the bathroom, carpeted. Over here, you've got a massive shower that has got glass on three of the four sides. The fourth side, housing really, really nice OXO taps and a rainfall shower head. And I mean, this is, this is a display case, not just a shower, so I love it. Double vanities, massive double vanities, huge mirror. Again, another bulkhead sunlight there, letting in that natural light that just creates such a nice warmth tone in this room. And right where you guys are standing, that is your closed off and sealed toilet space, floating toilet, hidden system, all the fancy stuff you can expect. But behind me is a bedroom that has it all bulkhead ceiling with recessed LED lights, a continuation of that beautiful tinted mirror, space for a massive L-shaped couch. I mean, this is the same shape or size couch I've got in my living room area, and this is sitting here in your bedroom. So I love it. Wrap around balcony. Again, letting you get some of that outdoor area. Enjoy yourself. You can see there's some seating over there. Sit down and enjoy the last bits of summer, unfortunately. And then again, a continuation of that design element, and I love that they've done it with the hanging chandeliers and the cabling running all the way through, giving a bit more warmth, making it just a little bit nicer. But I mean, nothing expresses just how big 
this bedroom is. When you look at a King XL bed, and it looks this small. But I love this room, it is done up. This is definitely one of my favorite master suites we've ever done. But unfortunately, that sums up this incredible 14 and a half million rent home. So what I'd like to do is let's go take a look at the garden and say goodbye. Walking outside, you're greeted by an absolute stunning garden area. You've got an undercover area with not only a place to have a formal dinner, or a place to sit down and relax, but also your very own outdoor prep area with a built-in gas braai, some space for a sink, as well as under counter storage. And then walking away from that in the garden itself, you've got space there for a pizza oven and also to sit down and really enjoy everything the outdoors has to offer. These outdoor specific though, you've got a rim flow pool that is massive, surrounded by plenty of tiling for you to pull out some sun decking or sun chairs and sit down and get yourself a beautiful tan. Then in concrete sandwich between two beautiful rose beds, you've got some space there as well to sit down, relax. And the last bench is located quite deep in the garden, shaded by some stunning trees. But that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the end of an incredible tour of a house that is without a doubt quite incredible on its own. 14.5 million Rand if you'd like to purchase this home that was brought to us by Seif. Contact Chris Papadopoulos. All of his details will be on screen as well as in the description of this video right now. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in and touring all these incredible homes with us every single week, Monday to Friday. We've got so much more for you and some real incredible homes are coming up. We will see you again from myself, Chad Riveros, Everybody that has anything to do with this show, from our fans to our producers, thank you so much for all the work, effort, and commitment you put in. We love you. Goodbye.